there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Bad Boys Ride or Die, a follow-up video uh, from my previous video reviewing the movie because the numbers are in, you guys. The box office numbers are in, and officially, uh, Bad Boys 4, you guys, uh, globally raked in $105 million this weekend, you guys, and it cost $100 million to make, so it already broke even as far as the uh, cost of the film, and now it's going to soar, you guys, uh, because it hasn't even hit all of the international areas yet, but with word of mouth, with positive reviews about this film, uh, for maybe people who are on the fence or not sure whether or not to see it, I think that is going to have more people tuning in. Uh, this film has resurrected the box office because nobody has been going to the movies this summer. Uh, they said this movie, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, uh, garnered 60% more people having themselves in the theaters, of course. So, so nonetheless, like I said, you know, um, whether you saw the movie because you're a Bad Boys fan or you're a Martin Lawrence fan or Will Smith fan, whatever, the Bad Boys, if they, as long as they want to continue making Bad Boys movies, uh, there's going to be a audience for it, you guys. So if they want to dust it off and do this again uh, until their 60s and 70s, uh, like Tom Cruise is doing a million a Mission Impossibles, like they could do that, you guys. They can do that if they want to because the audience is always going to support it, you guys. And um, also, I believe Will Smith was like sneaking into Cinemark theaters in California and was like sitting there as like a, a moviegoer. And then at the end was like talking to people outside of the movie. <laughs> like, yeah, I was there. <laughs> so uh, nonetheless, it was a shock to a lot of the fans. Uh, they were shook. But uh, it was a really good movie, you guys. And, and I'm really picky. I'm really particular on my movies and, and I will critique it even if it's my fave. I will critique it if it's bad or, or if it sucked, you guys. I have no problem uh, giving my actual opinion on things, right? Uh, but actually, in regards to this movie, it was really good, you guys. Like, the storyline was really good. It kept me interested. There was funny moments. There was there was all, you know, sorts of emotions and things because the, the, the movie just took, took you on a lot of places, right? But, but overall, just everything was good. The action scenes were good. The, you know, the dialogue was good. Uh, everything was just good. Everything came together the way that it needed to be, right? Uh, it, like I said, Eric Dane, um, those of you know for Dr. Sloan from Grey's Anatomy, he played a really good villain. He was a really good villain, a very convincing villain, and all of the things. So, so I was here for all of it, you guys. I enjoyed it. I feel Will Smith is aging gracefully, you guys. Um, is he in his 50s or is he 30 years old, you guys? Like, I just need to know what his official age is because um, whatever Will Smith is doing, uh, he looks great for his age, you guys. And I knew, like I said in my previous video, cancel culture uh, is cute on the internet, you guys. But if you do not put your money where your mouth is and actually boycott something, uh, none of it matters. All of it is noise on social media, you guys, as far as I'm concerned. But nonetheless, you guys, uh, again, you guys showed up and showed out uh, to see this movie, to support this movie, regardless of your personal feelings of Will Smith. And, uh, you know, there this is going to be rewarded as a result. So hopefully they do more Bad Boys films. I don't see why they need to stop uh, because there's a demand. And I never felt that, you know, any of Will's other projects needed to be canceled or postponed because of the Oscars. I, like I said, if, as long as there's movies like Bad Boys or movies that people are going to be interested in seeing Will Smith in, uh, they're going to go. Because a lot of people like him as an actor, regardless, right? Uh, so nonetheless, uh, that is all I wanted to say in this video. I wanted to, you know, just congratulate them again 
uh, for a successful weekend, a successful movie. And I hope they really do take into consideration doing this again, you guys. Because uh, they seem to love it, they seem to enjoy it, and um, we'll show up and show out for it, right? We'll go out and, and see the movie. I still actually want to see it again. Um, so I'm trying to find the right day and time to go. Uh, so hopefully I can avoid some of the commentary. But nonetheless, uh, <laughs> I, I, I loved it no, no, no other way, right? There was no other way I was not going to see a Will Smith movie. There was no way I was not going to see Bad Boys, right? Uh, so there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.